What's going on, everybody? Ben here, bringing you semi-final match against Maestro for the APL Season 1. As you can see here, we've got Heatran, La Mega Latios, Zerkatry, Gren, Gliscor, and Tangrowth, almost the same team as last time. And Maestro, instead of bringing Doug Trio and uh, Gardevoir, he decided to bring Rose Raid and Celesteel over that. Coupled with Latios, Mega Gyarados, Pile of Swine, and Arcanine. Um, I'll also show you the team right quick here. Ha ha. So we got Shed Shell Heatran. I had Shuka originally, and I should have put it instead of Shed Shell on Heatran, but there we go. Fire Blast, Dark Pulse, Flash Cannon, Earth Power. This mostly hits everything on his team fairly hard. Um, mine is Gyarados, actually. Which I didn't notice until it was too late. Um, not that it actually matters in the match, but uh, that's just me saying things. Mega Latios with Sub, Energy Ball, Thunderbolt, and Draco Meteor. I kind of figured Psy Shock was useless in this battle, and uh, Earthquake didn't matter so much just for Gardevoir. I figured it'd be a dead move or not matter. Excuse me, not matter too much. Um, so I figured Sub would be a lot more handy, especially when he brings something in and I'm for and he's forced to swap out. Bringing Electric Terrain, Zerkatrin, but instead of, HP, instead of HP Water, like last time we got Energy Ball, we got Sash Butt Basher, the Greninja, but instead of Dark Pulse, like last time, we're bringing Gunk Shot. This is like the emergency, emergency answer to his setup mons in Stila and Gar Gyarados, in case anything happens. We're bringing the of Gliscor again as well, as well, but instead of Roost, we're bringing Stone Edge on Gly bringing Stone Edge on Gliscor. And instead of Giga Drain on Tangrowth, we're bringing Poison Jab. Uh, to be honest, when I was team building, I was fairly, fairly lazy uh, in regards to checking Maestro's team and trying to come up with different ways to beat him. Uh, he didn't have an easy time against last uh, the team we brought against him during the regular season. So I figured, eh, let's just go with uh, the same team again. And... Uh, <coughs> change a few things up try to uh if you thought uh, if you thought we were bringing the same things so i'm gonna go through the battle here uh slowly i'll pause it to give my thoughts on what moves i was going to go through and uh yeah so looking at his team um he brought Rose Rate this time, and he obviously knows about the powders from Tangrowth, and he's going to be prepared for it with sleep safety goggles on one of his mons. Which one, I don't know, but he definitely does. So, at the end of the day, I believe I start with Tangrowth, just because it started well against everything again. Though, um, I think I started Tangrowth. Uh, though I probably shouldn't have at the end of the day, um, because... He was smart enough to start Rose Raid. Now, I did the calcs. Uh, if this was Max Modest Life Orb, it outright killed Tangrowth with Sludge Bomb. So no matter what, I had to switch out into something. Now, obviously, he's going to bring HP Ground on this thing. Otherwise, Heatran just walls it. No two ways about it. So, <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. My choices were Heatran or Gliscor. Uh, or Latios. It was a three. It was a 30 30-30. 33-33-33, whatever. At the end of the day, I chose to go Gliscor. And he sludge bombs, predicting the Tangrowth, and he gets a crit. Which is unfortunate. Now, uh, I, I kind of did the calcs, and I kind of didn't. Um, let, let's just... Wait, that's a team builder. Let's just go through really quickly here, because... Uh, <clears throat> Oh, I erased it. Dumb bitch. There we go. Let me show them pretty six. Heatran. Aha. So we got that. Uh-oh. I just realized something with that. Gonna have to edit that out too. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> so that's Heatran and then Rose Ray. So I was assuming it was a life orb set the whole time, right? Heatran. Gliscor. Hello? So obviously, uh, Sludge Bomb as a crit 
is not doing that much if it's Life Orb. So I took away the Life Orb and I gave it Lychee Berry because I figured, okay, it's just something else. And obviously it's modest because Timid doesn't hit hard enough. So there you go. As a crit, Sludge Bomb's doing around that much damage. Now, I saw Leaf Storm and I figured, well, he's probably not going to go for it. But Giga Drain on a high roll, when Glider Scorp is at 54%, Giga Drain has a roughly 20% chance to kill. So that's what he goes for. I go for Rocks, learning that he's slower than Glider Scorp. Um, which is great because Glider Scorp sits at 288 speed, 288 speed. So that's good news for me to know. Uh, that means Zerka Tree's faster than it, but Zerka Tree is also walled by this thing. I never once thought he'd bring Rose Raid. Um, and he kills me with the Giga Drain, uh, which I kind of already spoiled. So I immediately decide, well, um, Latios, obviously we know this thing is not Scarf and it's slower than Gliscor. So I can bring this thing in, even if it's Assault Fest, I can scare it out with the Psy Shock, and Psy Shock should immediately just body this thing, like Latios Mega. <clears throat> if I just slap on Psy Shock instead, boom, gone. So obviously I'm not carrying it, I got Energy Ball, T-Bolt, and Draco. So of course, gotta go for the sub here. And he brings out uh, Paliswine, so I just sub up. And I'm of course just gotta click E-Ball on this thing, there's no reason for me to switch out. That does nothing. It's a three hit KO, but it's still not great. Maestro misses an Icicle Crash, which is great for us. But of course, go for Energy Ball again, and he clicks Rest. So obviously this is either Chesto, which it isn't because it's taken nothing from Eviolite, or it's Rest Sleep Talk. So that does 40, and he clicks Sleep Talk, obviously. Lands the Icicle Crash. Okay, that's not great. In hindsight, I should have subbed again, I think. In hindsight, I should have subbed again. That was that was a misplay. <clears throat> Going for the E-Ball there was actually quite a misplay. Uh, because if I subbed, uh, I could have had the chance for him to hit... Uh, probably Earthquake is what I assume, because if he didn't have Earthquake and he had Ice Shirt Ice Crash, he was totally walled out by Heatran. Um... Yeah, so, uh, there's actually a slew of misplays in this, uh, battle. So, I should have subbed with Latios. That was a mistake. But anyway, he's asleep. And he gets another Icicle Crash! <laughs> and luckily, I live! And here I was debating whether or not he had Ice Shard, but he had to, otherwise he was walled out by Tran. So, he goes down, uh, and he brings in Celesteela. So, at this point, I'm figuring, well, what's... What's Latios really gonna do? Let's Gyarados gets up a D dance. There's nothing I can do against it. It doesn't have a move to get through Rose Raid. It can Draco uh, Latias or um, Arcanine, but at the end of the day, Arcanine has probably got E speed. So just click Thunderbolt on this thing. Get some mwah, beautiful damage off on it. And Maestro just leech seeds to get some health back. And here we come to the second misplay of the match. I bring in Zerka Tree. And, um, I very, very foolishly, uh, I spent a lot of time thinking about what my next play was. Either I was going to T-Bolt, or I was going to Z-Electric Terrain. And hindsight, once again, being 2020, I go with Z Electric Terrain instead of Thunderbolt. I should have just Thunderbolted this thing in front of me. It was no drawback. If he went into Latias, I could just Draco it, or Draco it, Dazzling Gleam it, <clears throat> and everything would have been fine. Even if he had gone Rose Raid, uh, I could have probably, I don't know what I would have done if he had gone into Rose Raid, actually. That's uh, tough to say. Is that someone? Or is that just the Furnace? Furnace. I like the Furnace feeling. Whatever. So, I should have just Thunderbolted here. Uh, at the end of the day, I didn't like actually hitting Z Electric Terrain. But there we go. He gets his Earthquake off. Uh, and I just Thunderbolt here, of course. Get rid of it. <coughs> and get plus one. And we know that we're faster than everything on his team, unless he's got Scarf and Iron or something, or Scarf Latios. So, since he goes out into this, I can assume it's probably AV. So, I nail it with a Thunderbolt and paralyze it. It takes 54. 
which is disgusting. And he takes us out with the HP ground, which I of course knew he had to have. Should have gone for Giga Drain there as well, but go out in and bash, butt basher and click gunk shot. No really, no real reason to go out into the other two mons. Um, mostly because Heatran gets walled out by uh, this stupid mon in front of me right here. Heatran didn't bring Stone Edge. Um, Heatran, Gyarados. Let's just go with Mega. Dan Cooper. So if I did bring Stone Edge and got to take off that Intimidate, it would have done a fair amount of damage, but Earthquake would have just outright murdered this thing, which he didn't have. He had Crunch, Ice Bang, and Waterfall. The fall does a clean amount too. Um, Heatran. That's its name. And then, uh... At that point, Earth Power, which would normally be there, would be doing a decent amount after it make it, but that's not the point. How much would that be doing? Oh, it's not damage. Anyway, anyway, go out to go so he goes out to um, Gyarados here. Now, another big problem I had in this match was that I wasn't clicking U-turn with Greninja. I should have clicked U-turn here instead of immediately going out into Tangrowth. Even if it is minus one, it's chip. It's chip. It's obviously chip. It's doing 10%. Oof. Yeah, 10%. That's that's some damage. That's nothing. You gotta take what you can get on mods. And why I didn't do it, I'm not sure. I think it was me. Be I think it was me being salty about myself not clicking T bolt with circuitry because that's where the match was gonna be either going in his favor or my favor. <coughs> And it was kind of tricky. But anyway, uh, since I go out, so he D dances on the Gren when I bring out Tangrowth. Now, Z2 Electric Terrain is over. I don't have to worry about not being able to put stuff to sleep, which means that Tangrowth can click Sleep Powder and put this thing to fucking sleep. And we miss, which is unfortunate. So he decides to go out to Arcanine. Which is fairly good on his part, I must say. And he's the one with safety safety goggles. <clears throat> oh, my poor throat. Why is it doing this to me? <coughs> I'm sorry. So at this point, I have no choice but to go out into Heatran. <clears throat> oh my god. Um, I know he's gotta have Bulldoze or Close Combat or something. But I'm guaranteed to live either of those. Uh, Heatran. Go down to... Ah! <clears throat> Arcanine. Now, I was assuming that this was actually a physically offensive set. Uh, even Adamant. <clears throat> Minerative Power... Earth, Minerative Power... Earth Power is doing a clean amount back to it. <coughs> oh my god, I am so, so sorry. Of course, I take wild charges, e speeds, flare blitzes, close combats, and bulldozes. I take them all perfectly fine. I can live one hit if he immediately goes for it. But he didn't. He went for your agility to go for game. Because his set can basically fuck everything. And I meant to pause it there to give me a second to think because he's at 76%. At 76%. Earth Power is a 50% chance to Oko, which would have turned the tide of this game in my favor. Minus if he had gone uh, Gyarados, because I don't have any moves for Gyarados, but Fire Blast is still doing 20 to 26. Anyway, um, yeah, the crit on Heatran mattered. Also, never mind, if he had gone for Close Combat anyway, he would have had the defense drop. Special defense drop as well. And Earth Power would have just outright fucking murdered it. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> that's that's a point in the game also that mattered quite a fair bit. Um, even then, I guess Gyarados probably could have set up, but Tangrowth probably still would have been able to eat up the hits anyway and just put it to sleep, hopefully, if he didn't miss uh, in that specific scenario. So, of course, gotta go Greninja. This thing is sashed. And here you can see me complaining about the hacks. 
Uh, and just go for the Hydra Pump and pray I don't fucking miss. Aha, I didn't. Alright, perfect. So he goes out to Gyarados again. And here's where I mess up again. I don't click fucking U-turn. And he Megas! Maestro, that's a misplay! Also a misplay on my part, so let's go back to Gren. Because we know, uh, there should have been an extra 10% chip on Gyarados, right? Um, there should have been an extra 10% chip on Gyarados, so it should be at 41. And if Gren was intimidated, which it was, we'll make it this thing mega. So see, Untimidated, it would have killed. Intimidated, it wouldn't have, but it's still chip. And then with um, Tangrowth on the field, I could put this thing down with probably a poison jab because then it'd be at 41. 41 minus, I'll assume, a 30 roll, so that's 11%. Let's go to Tangrowth. I'm fairly certain poison jab kills. Yeah, so that's a misplay on my part. I should have U turned twice to get a bunch of extra damage off on this thing. But anyway, he goes into Gyarados and he gets off an Ice Fang. Clean amount of damage. Alright, so I need to put this... At this point, uh, I was figuring... Okay. I need to put this thing to sleep. And then I could switch between Gren and Tangrowth to get some health back on Tangrowth and also get some chip off. And then at one point, when Gyarados is hopefully asleep for two turns, uh, I can bring in... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let me just see something. Yeah, so if Gren does that much to a uh, Gyarados that isn't uh, invested in HP or defense. But anyway. Uh, that was my play. Was to sleep this thing. Which I miss. Uh, I, 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 it was honestly the play. I don't have Giga Drain. I could have stun sport, I guess, but sleep is what was needed. At the end of the day, it shouldn't have been like this for me. And Maestro just trying to try and console me, I guess. So, sleep powder! Finally! After three attempts, I hit it. So, at this point, I have to swap out to Gren, get the U-turn off, go back into Tangrowth, and everything's all hunky fucking dory. So, U-turn, boom, 31. That did 31! I didn't realize that. So that thing had some HP or something. There's, there's something I'm not cluing into here. Okay, so Ice Fang and Crunch hit the rolls that they're supposed to, I think. So was it that he didn't have any speed? Because Gren was doing not enough. It did 31. Huh? Max HP? Max defense? Bold. Maybe it was max defense bold with, uh, or not bold, but whatever. Wow, that's fucking hell. Anyway, <clears throat> back into Tangro. At this point, this is two turns of sleep for Gyarados. I have to swap back into Gren. There's no choice here. <clears throat> I have to go off the play that he'll stay asleep. And then I can get more Regenerator off on Tangro. So he decides to swap out into Lottie here, and I go for the U-turn. Now, <laughs> in the recording I had, I actually thought he had choked towards the end of the batch. Not realizing that this did 29 to his Lottie, Lottie spread. So let's go to Lottie off. Because I was using this Life Orb set to assume everything, which was stupid of me. Because U-Turn should be doing 53 to 63. Oh, excuse me. That's Protean I've been calculating all along. My mistake. U-Turn should be doing 35 to 35 to 42. Um, I even think I might have been messing up some of my calcs in the live, now that I think about it. I'm not using the live the live because it was filled with salt and lots of inaccuracies. Um, I actually messed up a lot in this battle, but anyway. 29 to this Lottie, so he's got to have some defense investment in him. No two ways about it. And I didn't notice that the first time I did it. 
let alone when Tangrowth came in. Uh, and he loosed it on turn 27. So Tangrowth goes for the knockoff. That did 42. And I believe he was Habanberry for my Latios, which would have been annoying. So that did 42. So it falls in the range is right now with all now with all this defense. Without all this defense, 50 to 60. So um, even in what's the word I'm looking for? English is hard. Help me. Uh, even in the during the live, I didn't notice this when I knocked off with. Uh, tank with it all. It didn't register when it got towards the end of the battle and it made some bad comments. Well, inaccurate, excuse me, comments. Anyway, he goes for Calm Mind here. He was Bolt Beam, Calm Mind Roost. <clears throat> and I go for the Stun Spore here thinking, okay, I need Paralysis in order to win this game. Uh, if I can get rid of Lottie, fucking hell, that did so much damage. If I can get rid of Lottie, Gyarados is an easy pickup from Greninja with U Turn. So I go for the knockoff again, and it's doing 28, so he has to Roost here. Um, and I just go for the knockoff again. See, so now, I, he was at this range. <clears throat> and if we go back to Gren, because I, ma I made a comment of, Oh, I think he choked. Because it did 53 to 67. I didn't remember to get off Protean. See? I don't know why I default Protean when I put this in, this in as Torrent. It's incredibly annoying. <clears throat> Even without a, a defense investment, that's not killing. Um... So it's at this point he just decides, all right, Ice Beam this thing, get it out. If I had Dark Pulse, would that have mattered instead of Gunk Shot? If I had Dark Pulse. Yeah, plus one, special defense. No. Unless I had gone for a flinch. <coughs> so I go into Greninja here, and U-turn, and not enough. I don't get a crit. And after four turns of being paralyzed, Latios doesn't get paralyzed either. So Maestro's paying me back for the regular season game, in which I haxed him a fair amount. I, I, we talked a little bit after the game. We agree it wasn't a great game, um, in the slightest. <clears throat> um, yeah. So I actually lost in the semifinals, uh, which means Gius and I. <laughs> battle for um third place and we should be doing that relatively soon i think but um yeah do i want to say i i want to say i probably would have beaten maestro if i didn't get especially if i didn't get hacks with heatran i think i would have been able to take this game back if i'd also u-turned with Gren for the chip and actually thunderbolted the celestila with the circuitry like uh, those are my misplays with, with the circuitry and the U-turns from Grand, those are my misplays, but the crit on uh, Heatran, the double icicle crash on Latios, I should have subbed with Latios, it was such a misplay on my part, but god, I'm almost at 25 minutes now, I've taken up so much time, oh, I'm sorry for talking to you guys' ears off, but there we go, that's, uh, that's the semi-final, unfortunately, won't be going to the finals, but uh, we'll be making it up for hopefully third place against Gius. So, there we go. Hopefully you've all enjoyed uh, the, the regular season, and, well, let's see if I can at least get myself a bronze medal. Uh, having a fairly dominant performance and getting second seed, uh, we would certainly hope I'd be able to get third place against first seed, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, I'm done. I'm I've almost gone to 25 minutes. I've taken up enough taken up enough time. Uh, I'll see you guys for the third place battle overall for the APL season one. Take care.